Yes, lads, and welcome back to Jebo's Transfer Talks, where today, guys, we are going to be discussing two signings. Well, one departure, one signing. Now, we'll get quickly, fairly started into this with the first departure being Luca Dean from Everton to Aston Villa for £25 million. Now, I understand that Luca Dean was not holding back in terms to say on his Instagram message, you know, if you haven't checked that out, do go check it out. It explains thoroughly why he left in a nutshell, if that makes sense. And do you know what? Like, I am going to miss Luca Dean. But he's 28 and obviously brought in Michalenko. Obviously, it wasn't a nice transition for Michalenko, obviously. How can I put it? He's not had the transition that Luca Dean's had where, like, Baines there helping Luca Dean in the side. Whereas Michalenko is now on his own type of thing. So, all the best to Luca Dean, who joins Aston Villa in a £25 million deal. I'm sure all us Evertonians will still love you. And to be honest, it's going to be a big miss for us, you know. We, um, I, I know in recent weeks, obviously, we've been playing Ben Godfrey there, Seamus Coleman's been playing left wing back, um, and stuff like that, to be honest. So, Luca Dean will be a big miss for Everton Football Club, but all the best to Luca Dean at Aston Villa. Hopefully, he just doesn't have a storm and performance against us when he does come. But, moving on into our first... It's not our, well, it's our first loan signing, I believe, which is Anwar El Ghazi from Aston Villa on loan till the end of the season. Now, it's a bit of a sticky one, to be honest, because I don't get why Blues... How can I put it? Do you give Anwar El Ghazi stick saying they're not happy, he's not the signing we want... This, that and the other. But you've got to realise, guys, he's better than Alex Awobi. He's better than Awobi. And I'd rather see Anwar El Ghazi on the pitch than Alex Awobi. So maybe he proves every Evertonian wrong, um, to say the least. But it is what it is. He joins on loan to the end of the season. Um, I think it's a pretty decent signing for us. Obviously, you know, if Richarlison was to be out, and just Townsend was to be out, and we must have another crisis like we did, um, you know, I do think Anwar, Anwar El Ghazi is probably good enough at the moment to start for us, but is that really saying, though, that Rafa Benitez will play a 4 2 3 1? I don't know, but Anwar El Ghazi anyway joins us um, from Aston Villa on loan till the end of the season, and that is a confirmed signing for Everton Football Club. So it's really my views, it's my thoughts, and you know, I don't get why people... I'm not going to start naming other channels and stuff like that because it's not really much to say. But tight one that you're not happy about, Anwar, Anwar El Ghazi signing for us. You've got to look at the positives at the end of the day. He's an Everton player, whether Machiri wanted him or whether Rafa wanted him or not. is a different thing, you know. We're, we're not Rafa Benitez. We don't make the decisions... And, and to be honest, in all general, sadness, it is what it is. You know, if Rafa Benitez doesn't want El Ghazi, but, you know, the, how can I put it? But Machiri does. It, it is what it is. I, I, I can't really say much more on that. But, guys, make sure you do drop a thumbs up on the video. Make sure you do subscribe if you are new and watch out for more videos, really. But until next time, guys. I shall see you guys on another transfer talk. Peace out and see you guys very, very soon.